My truck driving pals get irritated whenever I call a pickup a truck, and really annoyed that I labeled the first Titan XD a semi-truck because it was more than a half ton and less than a one ton. And Nissan has released what I'll call the semi-semi version, a 5 8 ton XD without a Cummins badge or any hint of big truck soundtrack. Nissan says it heavily updated the 5.6-liter V8 from the previous Titan, but in reality it raided the corporate parts bin for the Infiniti QX80 S400 horse V8 and 7-speed automatic, making a few minor changes to it before shoving it under the Titan's hood. One could argue the primary benefit for selecting the 5.6 in the XD comes from shedding considerable mass, rather than a livelier drive train a quieter cabin or the $5,000 saved over the Cummins option. If you've ever driven a QX80, it feels just as smooth. Of course the engine and transmission are the centerpiece here and good indicators the standard Titan's powertrain is ready for the luxury laden limos with beds many crew cabs become. The hardware in the 5.6 is nearly identical to previous QX80 engines, direct injection with a variable valve timing and lift system that may eventually allow Atkinson cycle operation. If you've ever driven a QX80, it feels just as smooth. Compared to the old gas-powered V8 the Titan's horsepower is up by 73 to 390 at 5800 revolutions per minute. It gives up 10 horsepower from the QX80 which is attributable to Titan's regular fuel calibration instead of QX's premium. Torque isn't up as dramatically, an increase of 16 pounds to foot to 401 at 4,000 revolutions per minute, but has a fatter, broader torque curve so it doesn't need to downshift as often. Every 5.6 is hot tested at the Detchard, Tennessee assembly plant and it takes about 15 hours from the initial crank billet forging to reach the shipping door. The gas XD is clearly quicker than the diesel, at least when not towing at sea level. With no turbo to spool and much less reciprocating mass, the gasser's sharp throttle response is the first thing you notice. It is fully capable of skating the rear wheels on dry roads, winning the green light Grand Prix, or cleaning packed mud off the treads. Although the Jetco sourced 7 speed has two overdrives they're not as tall as the diesel 6 speeds ratios. So coupled with the gasser's much taller 3.36 to 1 axle ratio highway cruising revs are just slightly lower. However, the 7 speeds much deeper first gear improves the crawl ratio 12%. Fuel efficiency is vastly improved over the previous Titan. Our tester, an unladen but fully dead. <laughs>